Hey there, YouTubers. Right, unboxing video time. This is an uh, Olympic weight holder by uh, Yes All. Yes for All. Yes All. However you say that. Got this off Amazon. Uh, Twenty some dollars. And this is for two by two post square post that is with a one inch hole in it. So we'll go from here to actually putting it on my power rack in case you didn't catch in the background there a couple of big old zucchinis from noble farms all right let's see what's in the box a couple of collars that must go on the uh, thing itself let's get the box out of the way so these things are decent size Turn my light on in case you guys want to see it a little better. So this obviously goes on here. Yep. So one side of it is uh, chamfered. So it must go this way around the welds. Um, yeah, that's not that great on there. But uh, looking at the manufacturing quality, we'll divot there. This is probably made in China, I'm sure. Good old China. And I'm starting to wonder if this is going to fit on here. Um, interesting. Plastic cap at this end. So it's a basically a pipe welded here with a uh, continuous weld. And then it appears that it was powder coated. At least hopefully it was. And then let's look at the second one. So we're going to go from here, folks, to me attempting to put this on. And I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try it. I'll try and remember to put uh, which brand that I used. Uh, for a power rack, so you guys can see that. Let's do it. All right, so not that this is the height I'm going to put this at, uh, at least for the sake of the video. Let's get this out of here. It is where it's going to go. So I would assume this comes in from this angle, just like so, and boom. Okay. And so it does stay up there. That's good. I did not look to see how much weight this thing supposedly will handle. I think where this is going to go for me, 20 pounds on there. Um, where it's going to go on here for me is the back of my rack. I've already got one of these things. But what I really need is a spot to hold this down for uh, when I'm doing, let's say, pull-ups on this rack. 30 pounds. So it's, it is solid, folks. Obviously, we could put a bunch of 45s on there if we really wanted to. So, yeah, at least 40 pounds. Let's put some bigger weights on her. I do not know if the website said what, what weight it could handle. Of course, your power rack, kind of depend on your power rack. Now, I could almost leave this where I've got it because I pretty much never use the move the bottom bar. I do two exercises on this. And that's about it. Alright, so we're backing up a little bit. I gotta find a 45 pound plate. Actually, let's move it this way, folks. Alright, so get my cheap Chinese 45 pounder. 
This is not the normal diameter of a 45 pound plate. So it hasn't, uh, hasn't fallen off yet. Let's grab another 45. <laughs> So it's good for that. I really don't want to put any more weight on her to be honest with you, but for the sake of the video, let's just see if it falls off. Put another 45 on her. I actually don't plan on using this for 45s. Hey, I'll put a 45 pound on the bar and then, you know, for like military press, then I'll just use tens all the way out to 195, 215, but yeah, it, it holds. So, thanks for checking out the video, folks. Um, you can see it's not sliding off. That was a concern. It went on there just fine. This is the Go Plus Power Rack, which uh, back in the day was pretty cheap. Now I'm sure it's not, but uh, it works. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe, thank you.